Hi friends, my name is Rosa. I'm a teaching artist here at the Perez Art Museum. Today, we're gonna to be making a collage inspired by this wonderful, awesome painting behind me. Teresa Cromartie is a young African-American artist who lives in New York. Her painting is titled, The Bull is Out and My Foot is in My Mouth. Are we staying or are we leaving? It's a very bright and colorful, dreamlike painting. The materials you're gonna to need today for collaging are colorful paper, construction paper if you have, couple of different colors. You're gonna need a base paper, white, doesn't matter what size it is, something that you can find at home. Magazines or books with some colorful images. I have markers, you can also use crayons or colored pencils, scissors and glue. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna do a collage and a type of self-portrait. So I want you to think about, choose one of the colored papers and think about a shape. I'm gonna think of myself as some kind of rectangle. You can think about yourself being represented as a rectangle, a circle, a square. I've chosen to represent myself as a rectangle, so I'm gonna cut it out and begin to place my shapes on the paper. We're not gonna glue till the very end, till we're happy in the placement. I'm gonna place it right here. And I've also earlier cut, it, cut out some blue shapes. You can hand draw them and then cut them or just cut them freestyle. I'm gonna lay them out. And because this is a self-portrait and this is me, now I'm going to look at the magazine. And you may have books or magazines. I really like these feet. I'm gonna give myself these feet, so I'm gonna cut them out. And maybe later I'll draw a smile. I'm gonna cut out these feet. These feet have shoes, green shoes. Did I tell you green is my favorite color? I love green. So I'm gonna use these green feet. I'm not gonna cut the entire thing, just the foot. One foot, I can even have more than one or two feet because it's a work of art. I might decide I wanna give myself four feet. I think that would be a good idea. You can think of yourself, you can cut out different body parts if you find in the magazine. You could also draw them. So I've got two feet, and I think I saw earlier another pair of legs. Let's see. Oh yes, and these shoes are sort of red, brown, orangey, with funky socks. I'm gonna keep the socks because they're colorful. So my porch is gonna have four feet, and We'll think about arrangement a little bit later. So here we go. And you can add other body parts, ears, hair, mouth, maybe arms. Mine is not gonna have any arms, just feet. Okay. So I've got four feet. Once you have some body parts for your collage, some shapes, you can start to place them in different areas. Move them around until it feels sort of cool for you, until you're happy with it. Um, I'm gonna add some circles, kind of bubbly to make my portrait kind of fun and bubbly. And I'm going to use the markers to give myself a smile. Hmm. And to also give myself a background to stand on for my four feet. I'm gonna choose the color yellow for the smile and the teeth and the color black to accentuate it, otherwise you won't be able to see it. And my four feet are gonna be in the grass using green again as my favorite color. I'm gonna color and you know, you can take your time to do this. I think that I'm happy with the placement of my shape. So I'm gonna start to glue now. Move it around, see how it looks, and then begin to glue. You can use regular glue. If you don't have glue, you can also use tape. Clear tape or even color tape. I have glue sticks, so I'm just going to glue. Glue stick can be a little bit messy. That's okay because we'll wash our hands later. So I'm gonna place myself sort of off to the side in the paper. I'm not gonna place myself in the middle. I've got my body, which is a pink rectangle. Now I'm going to start to glue my feet 
and I've got four of them because that's just how I'm feeling. Four feet. My feet are going to also be hands and they're gonna come off the paper, you know, because this is a work of art, so you can really do whatever you like. We don't have to necessarily represent the real world. So my feet are just all over the place, and I'm gonna share with you later so you can see. I'm also gonna add the blue bubbles because I feel bubbly. And I have blue bubbles, I, I, it makes me think of blowing bubbles in the breeze. And I'm gonna have one of my bubbles be one of my eyes. And you know, there's no right or wrong way to do this. We're just sort of expressing ourselves. I have another blue, so I'm gonna use it right here. Hmm, make sure you really um, glue all of your elements down. I think I'm gonna use one more right here. And if I needed another one, I actually just have the blue marker and I could just add it. More marks, more marks. Okay, I think my self-portrait with shoes is finished. Self-portrait with shoes, what do you think? I wish I could see yours. Thank you for joining us today. See you next time.